Hello and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you what I think are the top 10 Japanese cars in GTA Online. If you guys want to see my JDM Garage Tour, make sure you like and subscribe and type JDM in comments. Here is a sneak peek. Anyway, with that out the way, let's get into the list. Starting with number 10 with the Dinka Blista Kanjo, which is based on the IRL Honda Civic Type or EK9. This car costs 580k, which is the second cheapest car on this list. However, it also has the second lowest top speed at 109 miles per hour overall, a cheap and good looking JDM car. At number 9, we have the cheapest car on this list. The Meibatsu Penumbra based on the IRL 1995 Mitsubishi Eclipse. This car can be stolen from the streets costing you no money. However, you can also buy this car for $24,000. This car also has the slowest top speed on the list at 105 miles per hour, but that's fine because this car looks awesome and is dirt cheap. Definitely one to have in your garage if you're trying to start a JDM car collection. Moving to number 8, we have the Anis Euros based on the IRL Nissan 370Z. This car is on the expensive side, costing $1.8 million, making it the second most expensive car on this list. However, it does have a great top speed of 116 miles per hour. The reason why this car is pretty low on the list is because for $1.8 million, they're better looking and performing JDM cars. But I'm a collector, so I try to own every car. At number 7, we have the LG Retro Custom based on the IRL Nissan Skyline GTR with a top speed of 115 miles per hour. To get this car, you will need the original LG, which costs 95k and then convert it at the Binnies for an additional 900k. Even though this car is iconic and still looks amazing, I feel like this car has become outdated, with all the newer cars looking more realistic. At number 6 we have the Karen 190Z based on the IRL Nissan S30 with a top speed of 110 miles per hour. This car is just a classic. And with a price of 900k you just can't go wrong. This car should be in everyone's JDM garage. Moving on to number 5 we have the Karen Sultan RS based on the IRL Mitsubishi Lancer Evo 6 with a top speed of 117 miles per hour. Now this is also a classic. This car has been in the GTA series from all the way back in 2008 when GTA 4 released. To get this car you will need to buy the normal Sultan costing 12k and then converting it at Benny's for an additional 800k. Another great looking JDM car. At number 4 we have the Anis ZR350 based on the IRL 2002 Mazda RX-7 with a top speed of 117 miles per hour. This car is on the expensive side costing $1.6 million making it the third most expensive car on this list but it's definitely worth it. This car looks so unique and with this customization I think it's one of the best looking JDM cars in the whole game. Now we're into the top 3. At number 3, we have Karen Futo GTX based on the IRL Toyota Sprinter Trueno AE86 with a top speed of 120 miles per hour. Another iconic Japanese car here in GTA Online. This car costs $1.6 million, which is on the expensive side, but also worth it. This car is also very good for drifting. You don't even need the low grip tires. At number 2 we have the Dinka Jester RR based on the IRL Toyota Super MK5 with a top speed of 125 miles per hour making it the fastest car on this list. It is also the most expensive car on this list costing 1.9 million dollars. This is the reason why it's second on the list. Because at number 1 with only 800k we have the Dinka Jester Classic based on the IRL Toyota Super the best looking car in the game. It is also the second fastest car on the list with a top speed of 120 miles per hour. If you do not own this car, I don't know what to say. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. I do have another JDM garage, so if you guys want a part 2, let me know in the comments. Also, make sure to like and subscribe. And with that said, I will see you on Sunday with the best way to make money in GTA Online this week video. Peace.